And so the tone of harmony was sounded by the African Earth family on the day our sacred brothers, Madiba Mandela and Archbishop Tutu, chose to heal their nation through truth and reconciliation. You see, since the return could only be accomplished together, those of the black and white insignias, the main protagonists, had to be the first to call an end to the drama of division and separation. Then others would follow. With hearts opened by the sounding of the tone, the European Earth family heeded the call of the Native American family, bearers of the red insignia, for a breakdown of barriers ceremony at Four Corners USA, wherein lies the heart of Mother Earth. The moment her heart chakra began to flower, Earth's other chakras began to stir, to awaken and to flower too. From root, Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda area, sacral, Kurdistan, and solar plexus, Andes, Peru, to the throat, Britain, third eye, Himalayas, and crown, Queensland, Australia, becoming powerful centers of energy around the world and making quantum leaps in consciousness possible. As Mother Earth began to throw off the cloak of density, to vibrate and to sing with the energies of light and love, a greater understanding of spirit and a desire to live in peace and harmony with Mother Earth and each other welled up in the hearts and souls of people everywhere. Many looked left and right, seeking vehicles of faith, that reflected their innermost yearnings and each found their rightful one lovingly preserved and nurtured by the bearers of the yellow insignia the Asia Mideastern Pacific Earth family. The time is upon us now. The journey back, the return, has begun.